So currently you're inside the vehicle sally port. Uh, this is where every inmate that gets arrested in the city and county of Denver or gets arrested anywhere and is brought to the city and county of Denver to be processed into the downtown detention center. There is inmates that are coming here for courts. There's inmates that are coming here that have been sentenced. There's inmates that are coming here for um, uh, just to be held. Uh, depending on their sentence, uh, whatever their court status is, uh, they rid in for a variety of reasons. Whoever the arresting agency is, whether it's Denver Police or U.S. Marshals or parole or anybody, they search them and they take off all of their personal belongings. So that's your keys, cell phones, watches, necklace, that kind of stuff. Um, when they hit us, we start telling them that anything that we take off of them at this point becomes introduction of contraband, which is another felony charge. So we've got a list of rules of things that are not allowed inside of our facility, and we try to adhere to that and make sure that they're not bringing them inside of our facility. Um, when we take custodies inside this sally port, once they hit this sally port, we do another search on them, regardless of if anybody searched them before, and we'll remove more stuff off of them. We've found everything from guns to drugs to knives. Um, we find just about anything you could imagine once it hits our threshold. This is essentially step two. Basically, once we take custody of the, the person that's getting arrested, they'll come into our facility through the sally port. They'll go through the metal detector. They get their photo taken, a front view and a side view and then we take their index print right here. This is very crucial. This is where we'll take all of their information, their name, date of birth, uh, descriptors of the person, height, weight, uh, race, uh, all that kind of information. The design was really focused around more of a waiting room to try and calm people's nerves. Uh, the old city jail that I worked at for eight years was very isolated. When you came in, you went into a cell, you were in a cell that had 60 people in it. This is designed for open waiting style. There's TVs on the wall, so it gives them a little something to do while they're sitting out there. Um, it gives them a little bit more comfort where there's actual chairs they can sit down. It's not a concrete bench. It's just more of a like waiting room. So it helps to calm people down and realize this is just kind of a business. You're coming in, you're getting processed. These people out here are waiting to be processed in. And once we get somebody that's uncooperative, they don't want to um, do what we're asking them to do. They want to resist in the process anything, they'll get put in one of these isolation cells. They'll stay in there for a period of time until they're ready to cooperate or they sober up. So if somebody comes in there intoxicated, we'll put them in these cells to separate them out. So this is the booking station. This is where everybody that comes into our facility gets processed into our system. Uh, we take their home address, we take their next of kin, that kind of information. If something happens to us or to them while they're in our custody, who do they want us to notify? Uh, also, when they get released, if we had property they were missing, we find it. It also gives us contact info for us to get a hold of them once they get out. Inside these red squares, they'll inventory all their property that they came in with, all their valuables, which would be cell phones, watches, jewelry, that kind of thing, and inventory it under camera. All of these desks have a camera that goes directly down on it so that we can document and capture that. What we do at the very beginning is just take an index print. That index print they use to try and identify the person when they first come into custody. Over here we take a full set of 10 prints, so we take all their fingerprints. Um, the difference is that set of 10 prints is what puts the charge that they're being arrested on on their criminal history. So anytime somebody comes into custody, they get a 10 print and then whatever their charge is. So that goes over for their criminal history, so it's recorded. Uh, everybody that comes into our facility gets seen by medical. Uh, regardless of whatever they're facing at that time. So it's very important for us to know what somebody's medical history is when they come into our facilities. When they come into our facilities, they could have a variety. If it's diabetic or uh, something more serious, then the nurses here that work for Denver Health and are contracted through Denver need to know that information so that if something happens to them, they can give them the medical care that they need. There's one side of things is just straight medical. The other side is behavioral health and we offer behavior health to every inmate that comes into this facility. If they can identify that they're having some sort of mental health crisis, then we can start treating them for it before they even get upstairs. So behavioral health is down at intake 24 seven. So when they hit our doors, if we can identify they're having that crisis right now, then we can start treating them for it and they will start treating them for it right away. They can verify their medications, give them the medications that they need, and then we can better manage them once they get upstairs. So this is classification. This is the last step in our process and intake. 
Um, what happens here is when an individual comes into custody, they research and look at all of their previous incarcerations to see what kind of uh, issues they've had in the past. They look at other facilities incarceration records to see if they've had issues there and then that determines where they're going to be housed. So we have different classification levels throughout our facility. So each housing unit has its own classification level and this is where it starts. So this is what tells them like what area they're going to be housed in. It's important for everybody's safety. If we got somebody in here that's that's a real high class level, we'll say it's a notorious crime. We don't want them out with the general population of somebody that's in here for shoplifting. Uh, there's a lot of potential for danger there. Just when you think you've seen it all, somebody comes up with something new.